Um, this poem is called Soundtrack to My Life. My soundtrack goes back, ahead, up, down. I saw the light as a four-year-old and got hooked on the British invasion, pre-Beatles mania. Maybe I'm amazed by the sheer magic music shed on a timid child imprisoned in a confused household. Ah, Mary, my mother, how I adored her till she wouldn't let me. I finally learned to smile once I escaped. What's going on is that I make homes wherever I lay my bag. Now I got a line on you, New York. No longer him. It's place that brings me to climax. Um, last words. She spoke her last words to me the night of her stroke, when I had no idea that morning wouldn't come. For four years, dark days of juggling, work and caregiving, legal battles with siblings. Then I heard her call out my name in a hushed tone as I was leaving to say goodbye the day of her burial. I'll finish with two Philly poems. Um, Philly girl. Yeah. I, uh, I'm from outside of Philadelphia, like uh, Phil and Janet. Uh, this is called Live at Noon. With her shock of white hair and skeletal demeanor, St. Vincent commandeered the guitar, her powerful voice, beguiled the mix of hippies and hipsters who gravitate to the World Cafe for free music, Fridays at noon. I came for the company, a long ago friend who once shared adventures and musicians before I conquered Italy and fashion glossies, and she stayed close to home to breed kids and divorces. Um, this is called Power in a Thumb. When phones were immobile and laptops futuristic, we possessed little money, needed little money, but owned freedom. Minutes overflowed, boredom afflicted us endlessly, we embraced it. Planning was for bores. When we got too big for our bikes, in our hip huggers, midriff tops and sneakers, we sought danger. All we had to do was wear a sultry scowl and flash a thumb. We trusted strangers to take us anywhere we wanted to go.